Good afternoon, everyone. We're waiting to get everybody in. Good to be back online for one of these diversity business forum minor women minority business consortium webinars. We're excited. Has the recording started, Carol? Yes. I will get started. Good afternoon, uh, all these local and DBEs and all of you that's come to join us today for the Valley Water presentation. We're glad to have you here today. The construction climate is heating up here in the South Bay. There's great opportunities to work with the Valley Water District. Um, you will see today millions of dollars in construction and professional services all coming online. But Valley Water is interested in purchasing supplies, catering, everything as well. Today, we will be discussing the major, some major construction projects that's going on but we want you and all the disadvantaged businesses, we call them XBEs in this process. We want the local businesses. We want everybody to be excited about coming to work with Valley Water. These opportunities are some great opportunities and, and the Water District hired Minority Business Consortium to help facilitate that very process. Uh, they are concerned about the diversity in their contracting pool. They are concerned about the local businesses having a, a much deeper relationship with them in their purchasing process. And like I said, we are excited and we want you to be excited as well. Now we have some great presentations today. We have some great presenters from Valley Water and uh, they will all be inter to introduced to you by the manager of purchasing and contracts, Concepcion Gaiotin. Uh, but before her, Carol will give from the NBC offices, Carol will give you an uh, update on our ag agenda for today. And she has announcements about putting stuff in the chat, uh, questions, a couple of polls that'll be coming up. So we want you to get excited about the presentation that's about to happen today. Thank you, Carol, can you pick it up? Next slide, please. Got a little lag. Yeah. Well, Reginald just did the welcome. A little bit of housekeeping. Make sure you put your uh, name and your company and contact information in the chat. We look forward to hearing from you. And also um, the Q&A, there's going to be opportunity for you to ask questions. Make sure you put them in the, in the Q&A section and we will um, manage that process. If we have any questions, we'll definitely ask you more. So Let's go to the agenda. <clears throat> We're gonna begin with getting a little bit of background about Valley Water and their commitment to diversity and inclusion. Um, and some of you are already registered <clears throat> and have worked with Valley Water and many of you have not. So we're gonna give you a, a little bit of information that will be for both those of you who are already registered and those who aren't. And then we're gonna go through contracting opportunities. There's a lot of them. Uh, Alan Montanelli, and you can see his face there, is going to talk about upcoming purchasing projects. Uh, Concepcion uh, Gautin is going to review the professional service contracts that are coming up. David Montenegro has a six month look ahead in construction. And there's gonna be a link to a PDF because it's way too much for you to put on this one, for in this one process, project, I mean, presentation. And then Philippe Daniel is going to talk about the big, big, big purified water project uh, that we've been uh, getting you aware of. In between, there'll be some opportunities for Q&A and we'll do one at the end. And then we're gonna talk about some really amazing upcoming events. So uh, right Carol, now, I'm going to turn it over to- Wait, 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 Carol. Carol, there's a, uh, a problem with the uh, chat. Uh, I got a note about the chat. Is there a way to unlock the, cat, the chat? As you turn it over to, to Concepcion, we'll work on that, okay? Okay. 
Go ahead, Concepcion, tell us about Valley Water. Next slide, please. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Concepcion Gallatin, and I'm the manager of uh, purchasing and contracts at Valley Water. Um, if you don't know already, Valley Water is a public agency providing water supply, flood protection, and stream stewardship uh, for Santa Clara County. The agency manages an integrated water resources system that um, includes the supply of clean, safe water, flood protection, and stewardship of streams uh, on behalf of Santa Clara County's 2 million residents. Valley mind. Water effectively manages 10 dams and surface water reservoirs, three water treatment plants, a state-of-the-art water quality lab, and more than 275 miles of streams. Valley Water is committed to diversity and inclusion, not only internally, but also with the contractors awarded the projects. We're seeking um, more XBEs, as um, Reginald's term is, uh, XBEs participation, and hope to see you in the submittals, whether as primes or subs. Um, here are some sample um, contracting opportunities. Um, and, and we have a whole lot more um, that really couldn't fit on the list, but I'll just read through some of them, right? Administrative services, carpentry, communications and outreach, concrete work, um, disposal, electrical, engineering and design, excavation, finance and accounting, glass, glazing, framing, um, you know, geotechnical, instrumental, IT systems, huge for us, landscaping, maintenance, uh, some management, of course, lots of operations, and those vary, right, in, in terms of the projects that are related to them, to them. Uh, painting, paving, and um, piping, potholing real estate coming up soon, um, remediation, right-of-way acquisition, because we are a water district after all, um, security, uh, stormwater, structural supplies, surveying, and a whole host of um, more projects. Um, so in any case, uh, we hope to uh, see you visit our um, websites as well as Planet Bids. And um, we have Kimberly Linser uh, to present to you how to actually look at um, some upcoming opportunities. Kimberly. Thank you very much, Concepcion, and welcome everyone. It's our pleasure having you here today. So what I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about and encourage you, for those of you that have not registered, please do register. The registration process in Planet Bids really is your gateway opportunity to start looking at opportunities for partnerships. And then you'll notice that on the screen that you'll see here that we do post the contracts that have been awarded. So for those of you that want to look at just historically some of the contracts and opportunities that Valley Water has done in the past, you can do so by utilizing the contracts uh, graphic that's seen here. You do not need an account to see that information, and that's really important. It is open to the public. Same with our bid opportunities. You do not need to have an account registered with Valley Water in order to see upcoming bid opportunities. So you'll be able to see those. And my colleagues here on this call today will be talking to you about some specific opportunities, but you will be able to see bid opportunities. This is your gateway then also for the partnerships. So you'll be able to do so. Now, for those of you that are registered, um, I'm glad to hear that because we have been live with Planet Bids for the last year, and we have been monitoring the registration, encouraging folks to register. And for those of you that are registered, just want to remind you, keep your registrations as current and accurate as possible. The categories that you choose, the certifications that you choose are helpful also to the other vendors that are registered looking for partnerships. So for those of you that are registering for the first time, the registration process is very simple. You'll be asked to create a profile. Within that profile, you will select any of the categories or specialties that your firm or company provides. And then you will also be able to look at opportunities as they come in. So with that, thank you. And it's my pleasure to welcome you. And it is my pleasure to introduce Alan Montanelli, who will be talking to you about some specific purchasing opportunities as well. Thank you. So good afternoon, uh, everyone. Again, my name is Alan Montanelli. I'm the Interim Supervising Program Administrator for the Purchasing Team. 
And I wanna thank you so much for joining us today. It's, uh, it's wonderful to be able to connect in this way. Uh, I'd like to go over some of the projects that we have coming up over the course uh, of this month and in the following months. Um, some of these projects that we're gonna discuss are currently previewed on Planet Bids uh, under the label Upcoming. Um, just a little bit about that. When you see a project listed as upcoming, this indicates that uh, it's, it's being drafted and prepared for listing on Planet Bid shortly or in the near future. Uh, but in the meantime, you can go into that upcoming uh, listing and get some information regarding the project. And Kimberly mentioned those categories. It's important to keep your registration up to date on. So uh, if we can back up to that last slide, I'm not quite to that one yet. There we go. Uh, so if uh, if you see a category in the, in one of those upcoming listings that uh, is not in your registration, but you want to be notified about that particular project, please be sure to, to add that category or classification to your registration. So just a little bit of uh, information about these projects. I'll go over, uh, go over these real quickly. Uh, we have uh, upcoming a chemical tank uh, inspection. Uh, this is for inspections, repair services, emergency repair services. Uh, we also have uh, the Coyote Pumping Plant Landscaping Project. Uh, this is a, a revegetation project, removing existing plants and shrubs, installing new plants and shrubs and irrigation. Uh, from there, we see uh, video, uh, videography services. Uh, this is uh, involving end-to-end -end video production services, um, high-definition videos uh, that would be used for public presentations, facility tours, social media, etc. Uh, VMware, GovCloud, AWS licensing implementation. Uh, this is for uh, a contractor to provide detailed plans and be responsible for the development and implementation of VMware Cloud uh, on AWS GovCloud for disaster recovery um, purposes. Uh, then we see property management services. Uh, the selected vendor here would be tasked with leasing and managing Valley Waters residential properties located within uh, Santa Clara County. Next to that is a bullet resistant window uh, barrier. Uh, this uh, will furnish all tools, equipment, materials, um, apparatus, facilities, labor, transportation, supervision, and management, uh, not specifically provided by Valley Water to provide and install bullet resistant window barriers uh, as described in the documentation once it's posted. Uh, then we see employee benefits uh, broker services. Uh, this uh, is to provide a, a full range of benefit program services related to the acquisition and negotiation, implementation, maintenance, and communication of Valley Waters uh, benefit plans. And then uh, the next two are somewhat related. There'll be invitations to bid for goods uh, involving valves, butterfly valves, and sleeve valves. And then uh, finally, we end with the Saratoga Creek Restoration Project. And this is for the implementation of an already designed uh, project, the installing of approximately 18,000 native plants, uh, an irrigation system uh, to support them on approximately 3.7 acres. So again, these projects are all at various stages of preparation. Some of them are currently listed on Planet Bids as upcoming. Um, but all of them will be listed uh, hopefully over the next uh, six months or so. Uh, please continue to check Planet Bids for any project title preceded by the word upcoming to preview the projects and to get those categories or classifications that we mentioned so you can add those to your registration or, uh, or your profile to ensure that you're notified of any updates to the project. So uh, I can address any questions you might have on what we just discussed. Just add your questions to the Q&A uh, if you have any. Carol, you are muted, Carol. Carol, you are muted. I'm, I'm not seeing any questions. Well, I just I wanted to let everybody know that there has been a problem with the chat. I have enabled it. I'm hoping it will apply to this. If not, put your information into the Q&A and we will capture it and we will share it with other folks. And, uh, and 
will hopefully this will get fixed. I don't know if I can do it midstream. That's the problem. I I enabled it, but I don't know if it's uh, going to work. So we're just going to you will put the your questions and your content information in the Q and A, and that'll be what we'll have to do for today. All right. So. Um, Yes, so people are starting to put some information into the uh, Q&A. Mm -hmm. said, can you bid if you are not registered as a vendor? That was a question. Yeah, so you will need to be registered with Planet Bids in order to uh, bid on any of the projects. So my question to everybody is, can you see what I put into the chat? If you can't, I will put all the information into uh, uh, the uh, the Q and A, and we have a couple of raised hands. Let's see if we can uh, get those folks. Let's see. I don't see it now. Yes, Fred Jordan, go ahead and ask a question. You have to unmute. Are you there? Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I think Sam Wash, Sam, yes, Fred? Okay, I was interested in the engineering aspect of it. Has the engineering already been completed? I'm talking no. about. Oh, that's, there's a professional services uh, that's going to happen then after this one. Okay, thank you. Okay, and then Sam, Sam Samuel Washington. Perfect. <laughs> that works. <laughs> uh, so I was going to say, are you prepared to um, to go into any detail regarding any of these offerings in terms of uh, components, those kinds of things, or are they, uh, or is the listing here a, each one a specific project as such? Well, I, if, if I understand you correctly, these are all, yeah, these are all specific projects. The The information that we've shared is everything we can share at this time. Like I said, it'll be, eventually it'll get posted on Planet Bids. And at that point on the listing, you'll see all your, you know, documentation, the, uh, you know, the bid document, any attachments, uh, exhibits, et cetera, that you'll need. Uh, and also there will be that designated um uh, bid period where you'll have the opportunity to ask questions and, and to get those answered by Valley Water within that designated Q&A period. Yeah, and okay. as, Alan, as Alan had mentioned too, during the, when we post it as an upcoming, you'll be provided a little bit more detail, but we don't post any documents until the actual solicitation is ready to publish, but you will be able to see a little bit more detail than you're seeing on this screen. So okay. as Alan said, and for any of these that are in the upcoming right now, currently in Planet Bids, remember, you don't need to have a registered account. You can see that they're open to the public. So by selecting the bid opportunities, you can go by the titles on here and there'll be a little bit more detail in the in the summary itself okay. in Planet Bids. But, but persons still need to register. I just want to be clear about this. They still need to register with Valley Water to make sure uh, of the they only need to be registered if they're actually putting in a submittal because all submittals are now done through the e-procurement portal. Okay. So you don't need to be registered to look. You don't need to be registered to explore, only if you want to actually put in a proposal. Okay. All right. Thank you. And just to be clear, the um, uh, the the code number on the side will, uh, if you put that into the Planet Bids, uh, I mean, into Valley Water, um, construction information, and you'll see that page later, you will be able to get all the details on each one of these projects. That's correct. Right. You can search by the VW number or the project description, and you can go ahead and do your search from there. That's perfect. Um, is there a way to get a copy of this listing? Yes, we will be sending this out as a PDF and the recording. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, we want to let everybody know the chat is working now. Yay, finally. It took a little while for Zoom to kick in, huh? Uh, Fred, did you want to speak one more time? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, I'll, you're wait, good. I'll wait until the professor says. Okay, great. All right, so the chat is working. I can breathe. 
and we'll keep going. And I'm so glad that you all got on and we will get everybody a copy of the presentation and a recording. Next up. Yeah, so next up is Concepcion. We'll let her take over from here. Hi, everyone. So technically, um, the professional services under the upcoming uh, projects with Planet Bids also has a listing. And if you were to click on it, there would be some more details, right? And this is what Alan was talking about. For instance, electrical and control systems, engineering services, which is for an on-call. Um, it has a description of what it is. Um, and then the scope of services, right? Design, engineering, architectural, and consulting services. Um, there is a column there that basically shows you the categories and it has a number. Uh, and that number is what you want to enter in your profile if that is a project that you're interested in. Um, so for this one, um, we're looking for proposals, uh, electrical control systems, engineering services, on an on-call, on an as-needed basis. Next slide, please. Next slide. Uh, Watershed's asset rehab program, we call WARP. Um, it's a restoration rehab of the watershed facilities um, uh, to as-built conditions for seven Valley Water projects. Uh, they're the Coyote Creek, Alviso Slow, Slew, uh, Permanente and Calabasas Creeks, and three sites on the Guadalupe, uh, Guadalupe River. Includes repair of eroded creeks, beds and banks, existing levees, concrete facilities, and miscellaneous and other repairs. And for the scope of services, right, we're looking for uh, on the construction management side, administration, inspections, coordination of uh, coordination schedules, analyses of them, uh, change order management, cost estimations, and on and on. Um, and right now it's on the planning stage. Next slide, please. Structural, structural engineering and support services, again on call, uh, provide general specialized structural, structural engineering services in support of various flood protection and watershed and water utility capital improvements uh, and operational projects. Uh, so um, it is uh, just by the by the title of it, right? Uh, it gets involved in a whole set of projects that may be existing already um, at Valley Water. Uh, next slide, please. Um, and then we have the implementation for mini billing. Uh, this has to deal with, um, with uh, actually mini billing, it has to deal with finance, um, but we need some sort of solution uh, so computer consulting uh, and maybe um, an IT software solution implementation integration. Next slide, please. And then um, finally on my list here, which is not the last on the upcoming list in Planet Bids, uh, real estate support services. And again, this is on call um, for appraisals, um, uh, uh, leases, oops, not yet. <laughs> um, land rights, ongoing basis, and looking for um, those types of services. Um, again, right, we're looking at environmental assessment, appraisal, acquisition, disposition, management of real property interests, okay? Uh, providing even relocation services for displaced and residential or business tenants and assist Valley Water in the condemnation process. Um, and uh, as you can see, they're, you know, um, in professional services, it basically says what stage it's in uh, and an estimated uh, posting date. Um, so with that, uh, I'm open oh. to any yes. questions. If yes, there's, have. A, there's a question. Wonderful. Um, Carol, what yeah. is it? And you may be uh, the one to answer it. So it, uh, this is from Rachel Keish. What is the SCVWD small business program to support and include small diverse local businesses. Are there goals for all professional service contracts or just federal projects to meet the minimum requirement? So um, we are looking, even though there may not be any goals, uh, Valley Water is always looking for participation when it comes to local vendors and XBEs. 
Um, the thing of it is, um, yes, on federal projects, we will have goals, but uh, you could find the details of it once you actually look into the projects, once they are posted, right? Right now, under the upcoming, it's still in planning stages. We're still developing um, the solicitation documents, and we are running that through our um, our label com compliance group and our SBE group. So uh, they can help us determine what those goals are, if there are any. Carol, any other questions come up? May yeah. I, yeah, let me speak to that. That was one of the, uh, uh, Rachel, that was one of the reasons why they hired us. We were trying to put together a comprehensive plan. And part of this initial uh, uh, webinar is to see just uh, uh, so that we can demonstrate the amount of uh, uh, interest that's, that, that's at the water district. And this, all of this helps us set higher goals. Uh, you know, Minority Business Consortium, we're trying to get as high a goal as we can, and we're trying to change uh, the paradigm here. So in our work with Concepcion and the water district, uh, some of that is up in the air right now, but we need businesses just like yours to be available so that we can make sure that these contracting opportunities, you know, the bottom line is how many contracts get awarded. So that is why we are in the room and those are the things that we are pushing for. But the wonderful part is that Minority Business Consortium can actually assist you, right? If let's say, um, you know, you want to be more involved in SBE, um, maybe you're not registered right now, um, so they can help you with that. Um, if you are uh, uh, interested in uh, signing up and registering uh, in Planet Bids for Valley Water, they can assist you with that. Um, if you have any questions, like there's a project in the upcoming that you're very, very interested in, and you know you want to get started, uh, they can assist you with that as well. All right, so reach out to Minority Business Consortium. Um, so next up is the oh, there's a there's a, a lot of questions about oh. DBE okay. and SBE um, and just wanting to make sure that they're asking, you know, do you take state or federal certifications? Um, you know, uh, are some of the are all the projects going to have some kind of focus on that? And so uh, just wanting to, people to make sure that they are aware that we we welcome all uh, certifications. We do. Uh, and right now uh, we are working on, um, you know, um, what our policy will be when it comes to SBE. We have local vendor preference. And so, um, and of course on the federal side, you know, that is uh, already part and parcel that's de decided, right? But David Montenegro can help us a little bit more on that because he is in charge of the procurement relating to construction. David? Uh, thank you, Concepcion. Um, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dave Montenegro. I'm the principal construction contract administrator for the construction contracts and support unit. So our unit is responsible for project advertisement, bid opening reports of bids and award of construction to ensure pro project adherence to established policies and procedures specified in the public contracts code and the labor code. Our unit is also responsible for contract compliance monitoring of prevailing wage requirements and coordinating of update insurance certificates during the construction phase. So um, next please, next slide, please. So our unit, we 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 normally use this, initially use this our this link down over here, the construction admin website as a portal now, and since we have used Oops. So now we have used uh, uh, planning deeds where we're using this as an informational basis. So if you if you be able to go to that link, uh, you be able to see on the right hand of the slide down over here, uh, you know, like two people with the hard hats on it. This is our construction admin website. Uh, there's also an indication about planning deeds that you have to be registered. I want to emphasize a little bit on that one. We use planning bid as a tool of, of um, letting everybody know, hey, we got a project. So if your categories or your information is incomplete, we won't be able to notify you. That, that's a good thing about Planet Bids. Now under, on this website too, we have resources. Uh, we have, you know, on the projects I'm gonna be discussing later, we have under the future construction projects that we update every month. Uh, there's gonna be a, a, a PDF copy of all the contracts that we're looking forward in on that one. 
Um, uh, I also want to emphasize our uh, the district and the yeah, and then the labor trade council. We we had an agreement with them, uh, with, with them to that we're going to be using the project labor agreement. We just executed that one. This this project labor agreement is any contracts that's more than two million dollars. So every projects that we have for two million dollars, we're going to be implementing the PLA. Along with that one, I have a list of projects under construction projects on that one. I have a list of the projects that we have done in the past. It's listed down there, and then some of them are re refers to the planet bids. At the very bottom of that page, I have my contact information down there, uh, my phone number, and my my email address. And then down below, there is a plan room email that that and anyone from our unit will be able to view that email. Uh, next slide, please. So for our first project, this is the, the FOCP Coyote Creek pro, uh, Killer Project. These projects are currently under um, solicitation right now. Uh, we just conducted a mandatory pre-bid meeting. Uh, this project is about, um, it's gonna go out to bid on August 24. Uh, this is the installation of a, a pre-purchase uh, chiller uh, equipment that will involve a lot of those electrical uh, uh, connection, yard piping connection, and then some skater requirements. Um, so, so if you're interested in that one, you can look at that one just to point it out. This project is on a security issue thing. We, we are not divulging any, any um, uh, information regards to our skater system. So in order for that, you know, in order to you to view some of these confidential documents, you have to uh, send us a DocuSign uh, NDA, and that's already in Planet Beats already. So if you go to Planet Base, you type in search keyword under 0684, you'll be able to look at the project. Uh, the next slide, please. Permanent Creek Channel Improvements flat wall. This is a retrofitting of some of the existing flat walls um, on, on, the, on the Permanent Creek. Uh, this is about 1.3 to $1.8 million. It's gonna go advertised this month. It will go to the board on August 23. This is, they're, they're gonna have a mandatory pre-bid meeting uh, schedule on on September 7, and the bid opening on that one will be on October 25. I just want to emphasize a little bit, and I mentioned about the PLA that's going to be a two million dollar threshold. Recently, we have been receiving um, an increased amount of of, of bid proposal. Uh, so on this one over here, since the the range of the the estimate is about 1.8 million dollars, we're going to be applying PLA for this project, regardless of the cost. Um, next slide, please. David, could you tell me again the date of that mandatory pre-bid meeting for the permanent? permanent? So the mandatory pre-bid meeting will be on, on September 7. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, the slide before that, I think there's another project that I, can you back up a little bit? Oh, the, okay, the next one, thank you. So the Basona pump station, this is a progressive design build. We're gonna be releasing the, the uh, RFQ for design build entities that are interested on this. This is like an upgrade of the pump stations. Um, so that will, the, the, the RFQ, you know, we were gonna be having the design build entities submit their, their statement of qualifications and we're gonna be shortlisting them. And then well, among the shortlisted ones, we're gonna be um, uh, providing them with the RFP to submit a proposal for us. This is about $28 million design build, and it's a, it's a good project to bid on it. Um, next slide, please. Uh, the chaotic quick flood management measures, uh, the estimate for this one is $61 million. Uh, We're looking at uh, a September 22 uh, advertising on this one. This is like a, a project that will be um, um, we're going to be putting like 8,500 linear feet of flat walls, and it'll be, you know, it will be uh, in conjunction to the, the, the Anderson Dump Tunnel when it's been operational. Uh, next slide, please. The power auto basin. Uh, we already had a pre-qualification completed on this project sometime in April, um, and we're supposed to release the art, the invitation for bid for this project. Uh, however. There was some delay of releasing that one because we're trying to secure the, the per, uh, permits from the regulatory agency, and we're hoping that we'll be able to release that on November 22. Uh, the the shortlisted, I have seven firms pre-qualified for this project. 
Uh, they're all already posted on the uh, on the um, on the Planet Bids portal, and then you'll be able to type in C uh, C0678 and go to the awards tab, and you'll be able to see all the contractors who's uh, been shortlisted for this project. Um, the Rinconada Water Treatment Plant Rehabilitate Project, um, phase two and six, is about $150 million. Uh, we're looking at uh, putting this out for December 2022. Um, this project is a, um, it's a it's $150 million. We're, we're on the design stage right now where I think the design is almost, I think, 70 to 90% complete. And then we're going to be uh, releasing this pretty soon. Next slide. The Coyote Percolation Dam Replacement Project. This is one of the projects that we're going to have some VTL loan on it, uh, funded on it. And then I think there's going to be requiring some DBA requirements for this job. I think there's also mention about using a women's business uh, enterprise too. Uh, this is a $12 million project. There's going to be installing a, a bladder dam that we purchased already that the contractor will be installing it. Um, next slide. The Upper Lagos, this is an $80 million project. This is in connection to the, um, uh, we're currently at 95% stage. Uh, and then we're, we're working with the city of Morgan Hill uh, in terms of trying to, you know, have this project. I think this project also too, we're, we're trying to find some grants. Uh, there, the project man, project team is securing a grants and also we're gonna be doing a VTL loan combination. So when you say grants, there's probably gonna be DB opportunities on this one over here. And then again, for VTI, same thing. Um, next slide, please. The Sanibel East and West Channel. Uh, this is like a $45 million project. Uh, we're, we're targeting to have this thing advertised next year, early early part of the, ne in the next year. Uh, it will be part on in, in the Sanibel area. Next slide, please. The Santa Clara conduit, it's gonna be uh, $5.4 million. The project number is 06697. And, and the performance, we're doing assessment of the existing pipeline. You know, we're, we're installing bobs, flow meters. Uh, we're gonna be updating electrical and control system down over here. So it, it's gonna be pretty much in the Santa Clara area, Santa Clara County area. And then that will be advertised, you know, tentatively sometime in March of 2023. The Snow Pipeline Rehabilitation this is about a $9 million project. It's going to be sometime in March 2023 advertisement. Uh, this is to inspect approximately eight and a half miles of pipeline. And then the pipeline design and perform rehabilitation measures. Uh, this project will also install additional line bulbs in this uh, in the San Jose area. And the next slide is the WT. This is the, um, the water treatment plant electrical. Implement, uh, you know, some of our, this is a highly secured, we're going to require an NDA in order to obtain the confidential documents this is about $11 million It's going to be somewhere in that timeline of March of 2023 next year. Uh, this will improve the uh, upgrade the major electrical equipment at the Santa Teresa and penitential water treatment plants that have reached the end of their useful life. And it will improve the liability and allow efficient operation of the electrical system. And then after that, and I'll pass, uh, it's, if there's any questions before I go. Yes, we have a few questions. Um, one was, is there a way to see who is currently on Valley Waters construction management on-call contract? Construction management on-call, that's something that I guess Conceptions Group has to to respond to do you know the answer to that yes um so uh because we are a government entity uh there is uh public um public information uh that is available um so yeah please reach out to me and i can guide you through that process it's basically sending an email uh on what you're looking for send that to me i forward that to our records um department and then they go ahead and um, you know query um, the PMs and the procurement, uh, the buyers specific to that project, and pull that information that you're looking for and send it to you. Those on here. those on call contracts. How uh, what is the time limit or the time span that that they are for the on call construction management contracts? So most contracts are five years. 
there's uh, there are clauses in the uh, in the agreements that allow for extensions depending on what projects uh, they're working on. Uh, but of course, each contract, uh, just because they're varied throughout Valley Water, will differ contract to contract, project to project. And remember, you can see open contracts and plan at bids. Remind, just a reminder, you don't need to have an account. You don't need to register. You can see any of the awarded contracts that have been posted in plan at bids. You'll be able to see the amount that was awarded, who it was awarded to, and you'll see the start and end dates for those as well. So uh, another question um, was, will there be joint venture opportunities? Some of these projects look pretty large for, for smaller contracting businesses to gain experience. I could answer that. So, so we, we allow joint ventures in our projects. So if you be able to uh, work with another prime, prime, prime contractor to do joint ventures, you can do that. Um, and when doing that, um, uh, you have to submit, like there's a form down there we have in instructions to leaders that they have to submit. And then, um, uh, yes, we allow joint ventures for projects. And then also um, about our, these projects, union, non-union, all, all union. A anything that's $2 million, that's a threshold for the PLA that will be enforced. So that's going to be union workers. And that's going to be COBRA, COBRA work projects. And Reginald, maybe you can speak a little bit about the relationship we have with unions to help. Uh, That's good. Yes, we 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 are actually working on uh, uh, the whole process of this is a is a filling out process. The water district is really committed. I want you guys all to know that the commitment from the water district is as exciting as as I've seen here in uh, in the Bay Area, and we are building a process that will answer many of those things, right? We, I, I think there is areas for us to grow with how the union involvement and, and, the, and the DBEs that's involved in these projects, how we, our relationship with South Bay Labor, we can help facilitate some of those issues as they come. And uh, whether it's teaming or, or, or uh, joint ventures, we want to try to come up with ways that we can institute some of those areas, uh, some of those processes, where they have not uh, existed in the past. So the water district is actually looking for different ways we can do to help uh, expedite and uh, grow this DBE uh, relationship. So I, that, that's why I'm excited about it. And I think the water district is excited to have us here and we gotta make this thing work. And I think your involvement and your input as you get in touch with us about what some of the issues that you see, we think we'll be able to instant, uh, 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 introduce them to the water district so that we can help get past some of the barriers and have a much uh, uh, more vibrant working relationship. Yeah, and I just wanted to underscore, uh, you know, we we don't work with um, agencies or um, companies that are not committed from the top down. And we've been really excited about the commitment from Valley Water, as Reginald had said, and we're going to work on getting rid of any barriers that you that you are facing. Um, there is a question here. Uh, is there a process for suppliers? Is the process for suppliers the same as contractors or does the supplier have to go to the chosen contractor? Uh, for construction contracts, they have to go to the, the chosen contractors in order to provide the quotation for that one. So that will be you developing a relationship uh, if it's a short list. And we're going to be talking about the uh, pipeline soon, this $600, $700 million project that's going to have lots of opportunities for suppliers and individuals. Um, and so make sure that uh, when you uh, find out that there's a short list of firms, get your name out to them, get their, your statement of qualifications to those folks. And there is also going to be a great event coming up in September that you can actually meet people. So meet, meet vendors, prime contractors, sorry. Um, another question, yeah. are there multiple year contracts for suppliers? Yes, Carol. Um, so when it comes to suppliers, uh, yeah, on the construction contracts, um, for suppliers to get involved, they have to work with a 
individual contractors, uh, and you've already explained the way that works. But there are also opportunities for suppliers to have a direct award. Uh, that's why it's important to register yourselves in Planet Bids and what it is that you supply so that when, um, when we use those categories, you will be immediately notified that, hey, here's a project where uh, you can provide um, the supplies that we need, supplies, equipment, or whatever that is. Sometimes in construction contracts, there's a long lead time for certain supplies. And so the purchasing team actually takes that on and um, sends the solicitation out through Planet Bids, and then we award it separate from the construction contracts. So just an FYI. And yes, multiple uh, year contracts are also a possibility depending on what it is that we're looking for. So Tony Parker with Cardinal Aerial Photography uh, asked, how will subcontracting opportunities be addressed? And I'm, ass I'm assuming some of what you're asking we've, we've answered. If a prime contractor is the major way to go through it, but there are some contracts in here that are for photography that are direct with Valley Water. So you just have to look at the contract, see what the rule, the who's who's managing it, and then follow up with that, Tony. Yes, project to project. Yes. Uh, let's see. I think I've covered what are the goals for minority firms. Been asked again. Um, I understand with some of these projects we have that we have a goal of 20%. Is that true or? For small small businesses, we don't have our goals um, set up yet at Valley Water. We they're are in the here. process of setting. We're in the up. process. We're yeah. vetting that. Uh, we're doing our due diligence so that once we have a policy that we roll out to um, internally and uh, to the um, to the community, uh, then you know we'll be all set. Right now, we just want to make sure that we address all possible questions and scenarios that we will encounter once we have those goals. Yeah, we want to get you ready. Hey, so wait, listen, yeah, I think they're we getting ready on. and we want to get you ready. Carol, let's, let's move on to our last presentation and we'll have, another, we'll have another Q&A session at the end of that one. Yep, so I'm going to pass it over to Philippe Daniel to uh, do a presentation for our P3 project. Philippe? Thank you, thank you. So this purified water project, it ties into Valley Water's mission of providing a clean, reliable supply. And as we know, we live in drought country and we're in the midst of a drought and things don't look like they're really gonna get better. So this project is really to address that why that Valley Water exists. The other why, of course, ties into the way that we will be delivering this project. Uh, this design, build, finance, operate, maintain. Why are we going to do this? Because affordable, cost-efficient services to its customers is another part of Valley Water's mission. So next slide, let me talk to you a little bit about what this project is. This project is called Potable Reuse. And how that works is we take treated wastewater in this case, it's going to be from the city of Palo Alto as a regional water pollution control facility. They treat to high degree and discharge to the bay. We're going to take that water and we're going to put it through a purification center that has advanced treatment technology that will include ultrafiltration, reverse osmosis, the kind of stuff we use to desalinate. And it's followed up by this whiz bang advanced oxidation process with ultraviolet light and hydrogen peroxide that creates a highly purified water that we then take and we pump and pipe uh, down to the groundwater recharge ponds in Los Gatos. There, it will percolate in and replenish the groundwater, which serves as a source for many of the customers in the greater um, South Bay area. So this is the concept. Highly treated wastewater gets purified, transported in this case about 20 miles down to Los Gatos to recharge the groundwater where it's extracted after it stays in the ground for anywhere from three to 24 months and then it's used for drinking. What that means at this project will involve significant design because we're handing this project at a very conceptual level. There's not a lot of design detail that's been developed 
because we want to allow for maximum innovation and creativity to these private entities, but there'll be the design and construction of the treatment facility, and then all the connections, the pipelines from the Palo Alto plant to the purification center, the connection from the purification center to the pipelines that will take it down um, all the way down to Los Gatos. So there will also be some site preparation work. There's some hazardous materials there because of sea level rise, the site will need to be elevated and developed uh, and a monitoring well will need to be installed down to the Los Gatos um, area where the water will percolate through. So that's one feature. There's the planning design, there's the construction of the facilities, and then there is the O&M period of 30 years where this entity will operate and maintain the facilities and the pipeline. So what that means is there's lots of opportunities at the design level, the construction level, and then through the 30 year period of, of operations and maintenance. Uh, next slide, please. So this map to the right just gives you a sense of how this project is configured. Starting in the upper left-hand corner at Palo Alto, the water gets transported to this site where the advanced purification center will be uh, constructed. Um, that's in the site of the former Los Altos treatment facility. Uh, it's near the airport there. And then the pipelines, about 24 to 30 inch pipelines, will stretch across Mountain View, Palo Alto, Sunnyvale, Santa Clara, down through Campbell into Los Gatos. And so that is kind of half and half. The treatment facilities will be half of the capital expenditure and the pipelines will be at about half of the expenditure. How it's being delivered is very different than what Valley of Water has done in the past. Typically, as you know, they hire uh, uh, for major projects, there's a design engineer, you come up with your construction drawings, and then you go out to bid. In this case, it is going to be all done under one roof. The design and construction and the operations and maintenance will be done owned by a single entity who also will be financing the project. One entity who will hold everything together, including the risk for the project. They will engage the design build entity, the major players and operator, and then each of those entities will leverage their own particular subcontractors at the different phases. Now, how this will be um, selected, it'll be a best value selection. And by that, we mean it'll be both the innovative concepts on design, construction, operations, and finance that'll be part of it, as well as a fixed price. So think about that in terms of your own kind of proposals and engaging with these is that since they are gonna be looking for both innovation and cost effectiveness, those are the types of things you'll need to add in terms of value. Now, we will require that they comply with the PLA and the project agreement will set out goals for local diverse and disadvantaged um, entities. Valley Water will maintain ownership of the facility and it'll be uh, returned to uh, Valley Water for operations and maintenance after that period. Next slide. So the procurement's a two-step process. We've gone through the request for qualification phase and have shortlisted these four entities. Details on these entities can be found at the link shown in the slide. We have yet to issue an RFP, but we anticipate that the RFP and the proposal period will be going on through 2023. Um, and again, the best value means you're gonna to have to develop design concepts. They're gonna to have to develop um, finance, financing approaches, construction approaches, all to kind of come up with that fixed price that's part of the best value selection. There's a lot writing on it. And they'll be looking, I imagine, for subcontractors who bring quality, who bring speed, 
and ingenuity to uh, cost control. So to be thinking about that as you go along. Um, next slide. So in terms of local diversity contracting goals, because of the nature of the P3, um, we're able to kind of navigate in this um, process where Valley Water is still looking through the uh, process of setting goals um, for the XBE. But in this case, we will have a local business enterprise initiative. Um, and these local business enterprise will have to be confirmed via this declaration form and diversity and disadvantaged business uh, requirements. Um, and we're gonna shoot, we haven't finalized this, but we're gonna shoot for a good faith 15% subcontracting goal um, that we will be looking at as part of the evaluation. Next slide. So the contracting opportunities cover the range of disciplines. They will probably be needing assistance during their preparation, preparation of their own proposals, let alone the execution of the design, the construction, and the O&M phase. And it's going to cover, as you can imagine, we're building a facility, we're doing pipelines, grading, public outreach, the whole range uh, of services. Um, only the major subs are required to exclusive um, commitments to the proposer which will allow smaller contractors greater flexibility to work with the winning bidder. You don't necessarily have to be exclusive. Next slide. Uh, oh, that is not the next slide. So let me see, are there some questions that I missed here in this chat? Carol, you are, you're muted, go yes, ahead. Yes, I've got it. One question uh, is really for small firms, how do they get involved in the in this uh, multi-million dollar project where where can they find the opportunities for for their for a smaller business are you able to uh, hear let me? me see if i can see that particular question that she asked i don't see it carol you broke up come on come try that question again please uh, the question is, how can a small firm participate in this zillion dollar project? <laughs> so I think I think the best way to do this is that each of meet the primes event. And as Dave will say, the meet the primes event is not just for Valley Water and the project, it's actually for all Valley Water's projects also Valley Transit Authority, City of San Jose. So this will be an opportunity where not only these primes for this project, but other major players will be out there to meet and greet and engage with you. So that's gonna be a great opportunity for you to get to know um, these people. You can also go, if you wanna get smart on this project, you can go onto Valley Water site for the countywide water reuse master plan and look at the particular description of this project that way, you can get smart about what your firm might be able to offer um, these primes. Um, and then there's a question about what this project was. Um, the P3 project is, it, it's, a, it's a design, build, operate, maintain, finance. Um, it's not a transfer because the ownership will always rest with Valley Water. So uh, yeah, another question is uh, uh, an important one that every small business struggles with is prompt payment. Um, and wondering if currently there is a way for subcontractors to uh, be able to make sure that they get a prompt payment and it's not delayed because you cannot, uh, uh, as a small business, you can't float your employees for months and months waiting to be paid. And all I would say is, and Reginald would confirm, is these are the kinds of barriers that we are working with Valley Water to address. And so I don't know if, Philippe, if you have uh, an additional answer to that, but I know we are working on making sure that, that uh, small businesses get paid in a very timely way. And I think it'll go both to the contract language on any particular project, as well as, of course, as the contract compliance. 
Other questions? I don't know. I mean, um, what somebody asked about engineering opportunities and because you have a short list of primes, um, are there still gonna be other uh, engineering opportunities? Well, again, this is really up to the P3 entities on in terms of the Purified project. It's gonna be, you know, what you have to offer um, in terms of value uh, to them and their design efforts. Again, the name of the game for them is kind of innovation and cost savings. So if you bring local knowledge and insight in these areas, that would be a significant part of selling your services to some of these entities. So again, to meet the primes of that, I think will be an important one. All right, and so if, 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 if these DBEs or small businesses can do some of the legwork and see what, the, what they can offer on these projects, uh, NBC is, will be here with you to help you uh, negotiate those relationships to see to find out where all the doors are that you might be able to walk in. But yes, these projects are, are huge. And some of the uh, the groundwork for what the, the their working process has already been laid out. So we are trying to find out where we can make some adjustments and where you can uh, where we can bring some of your businesses into this process. So yes, yeah, stay in touch with us. Uh, Concepcion has said this over and over again that we want to try to assist you in being introduced into these projects at the most at the the most favorable place for the project and for your business as well. So um, another question is around um, the uh, SBE goal and the LBE goal. And so- right, Wait, 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 Carol. Let's don't ask any more question about goals because the process- the, the this, this is on this project. This okay, is on it. this project, the this goal- This is on the P3 project, okay. Yes, on the P3 project. So the question is, will the 15% goal be in the hierarchy of first meeting LBE and then local SBEs and diversity equation? Really concerned, if, are there going to are SBEs that are in the Greater Bay Area eligible? Uh, I don't have that information at my fingertips right now, but that certainly will get out there. We so one other thing I, I would I would just remind you again that this will involve a lot of pipeline work, and you can imagine above and below the surface any insights you bring from your experience. That's the kind of thing that I help make you stick out and sell your services. So really be thinking about what are the specific experiences and insights you bring here in the South Bay um, that are gonna help these respondents be successful since they're all competing against each other. And this is a great opportunity for a lot of truckers that we got, we have truckers that's, that's been waiting to help move some dirt. <laughs> so we will be working that one as well. <laughs> Yes, indeed. There'll be a lot of dirt moving. So much of the uh, question, um, you know, the questions for small businesses are around getting paid on time, also bonding and insurance. Do you have any answer about that? About what the bonding or insurance, what we will be working to do is making sure that the contracts get um, unbundled enough so that uh, or are done in phases so that bonds bonding will be manageable. But um, I don't know if Philippe has other answers for you. Well, I mean, I think it really depends on the nature of service being offered. And, you know, for these P3s, they're bearing all the risks. They're holding all the risk. And, of course, they'll want to kind of share the risk accordingly. So if you're doing structural design or geotechnical, that's going to be something they work out in terms of what the risk sharing would look like. So I think that'd be highly specific uh, to a role. I think there's another item that popped up in the chat. Did you see uh, that? Does NBC help out with contracts in San Francisco? Well, we're working right now on the Valley Water contract. So we'll let's have it, let's have that conversation offline. But we do work with businesses who are in San Francisco in Alameda. And, and other projects candidates. around and projects around the state as well. Yes. Yeah. And our and our contracts are broader than Valley Water, but this is a Valley Water focus. So we're going to stay on that. 
And there was a question from Fred Jordan in terms of what design systems you're considering. Is that part of the P3? And again, I encourage you to kind of look at the uh, countywide master plan, but basically you have multiple pipelines, pump stations, you have kind of civil design, the layout of the treatment facility, you have buildings, you have, you name it, the things that are involved in kind of treatment systems and conveyance. So I think those are the kind of design elements, but half of it's gonna be the treatment plant, about half of it's gonna be this 24, 30 inch pipeline that's going about 20 miles through the routing uh, we've put up. Uh, there's a couple of questions I'm gonna put Gian, Gian Fierro with Acumen has asked to speak. So uh, go ahead. Unmute yourself, Gian. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Hi, there. Okay. Hi, folks. I just, just wanted to say I, I'm enjoying the presentation. Lots of great information here. Uh, Reginald, as always, always good to see you. Um, I went on the Meet the Primes event because this seems like such a must attend event but the registration link is not working. Is there a link that uh, you guys can provide um, as a workaround or is that something that you're gonna address later on? We will make sure you have the link to that. Uh, everybody online, we will, we'll, uh, we'll make sure that the link is working and the, for the Meet the Primes at City Hall. Yes, right. we'll, we will do that. Yes. Thank you so much, Reginald. Yes. So, so Reggie, let me, let me add on that one. If you go to the next slide. Okay, oh um, yes. <laughs> yeah we so, need to so so just you know like uh, just like a segue for that one there is a link for the event bride that's open right now that you could register i just want to remind everyone that that uh, we're only accommodating like 300 people to join because it's a small facility so so we're, we're you know uh if it's going to be more than 300 people then your registered rate then you might be placed on the innovating list uh, just like one uh, Philippe mentioned, this is a joint partnership uh, with, with the city of San Jose, uh, Bali Transportation Authority, Bali Water. Uh, the, the three, uh, the, the shortlisted firms for the P3 projects are going to be one of the, the feature prime that's going to be setting up a booth on the, on the site. Um, I know BTA, they have their, their BART phase two project. They're going to be as a feature prime too. They have a big, um, extension of the light rail project for Valley Water, you know, we have the P3. Uh, and you know, we, we also have the, the Anderson Dam, I forgot to mention, we had the Anderson, Anderson Dam seismic retrofit. That's like a half a billion dollar project. That's not gonna be like um, looking maybe like, well, as soon as the project for the Anderson Dam tunnels are ready to be complete, that, that will be implemented on that one. Uh, right now, the project team is coordinating with us. We're looking at different alternative methods in that one. Um, uh, just maybe it will be similar to the one that we did for the Anderson Dam Tunnel, where we did the pre-qualification process, and we used best value for that one that's uh, that indicated in the public contracts code. I just want to remind everyone, I forgot to mention, that when you register, or DIR, DIR registered, and then you need to put in all your license that you had on, on your, uh, for your for your firm. And normally we, we, we check on those things, and then so the project we have down over here for all construction contracts, you have to have a license required for this project has to be active, not only for the, also for the subcontractors and older tiers, and then everyone has to be DIR registered in order to qualify for this project. Uh, so again, um, the is on, on September 22nd, uh, register. Registration down there. Uh, we have a lot of um, uh, feature primes that's going to be attending. Indicated on his uh, Q and A thing, he, she she put a link down there too. And then, so you have the questions regarding the the bonds. Uh, so all our construction contract we require a hundred percent of the contract amount on the performance bond and payment bond. And then all insurance there. There's kind of project specific. It all depends upon what type of work you're doing. So that's something our, our risk manager is going to be providing on that one. And they're all project specific. Thank you. Excellent, David. Thank you so much. Listen, uh, uh, when David listed all the projects that's going on down here from BARC and everything that's going to be here at the Meet the Primes, 
You know, we've been working with the with, with Sam Washington over at the at the Black Chamber and and the Hispanic Chamber and Navo, the women uh, business owners. Listen, y'all should move some of these businesses out of San Francisco down here because we got a lot going on, and uh, and, and just like the Water District's commitment to to working with you. We know my business partner have been speaking about this, Walter Wilson, about how regressive this goal setting process is. And we are actually trying to do something to to go around that regressive goal setting process. And that's why this work with the water district can really shift this. The more people we get involved in this process, because their commitment is so good, we think this will be a good doorway to walk in and we can prove that there is a lot more opportunities for businesses just like yours to have these contracts, not just one off contract, but an ongoing relationship with all these many projects that David and Felipe and Concepcion has introduced. This is a great opportunity for your businesses. And I think that if we, uh, if you get involved to the degree that I think you should be, uh, your business and our whole community will be better off for having worked with the water district like this. So yes, come to the, uh, the, the San Jose uh, City Hall Rotunda for this Meet the Primes and make sure you register. And as you register, make sure you say that Minority Business Consortium sent you. <laughs> There'll be a link there as well, okay? When you um, register as a vendor with Valley Water, we want to make sure that uh, we we know who you are and that we've helped you get there. Um, and are there any folks that still have a question? I have a couple of hands raised and I don't know if I need to lower them or. Uh, uh, there might be a couple of questions and we'll uh, make sure that Concepcion, uh, if she has anything else she wants to uh, add before we leave or, we, or any of the other presenters. Yeah, we still have a little uh, more time. Um, so, Fred, you did question? you have another question? Yeah, Fred, I, said, I, I was wondering, you said you were going to put in a registration link. Uh, I'm just wondering, is, or is that something you can send out to the participants? Uh, it, we it's will... in the chat. It says meet the primes and it gives the date and time and a link to register. No, I'm talking right. about registering for uh, Valley Water. Oh, I'll send it oh. out again. I've sent it out numerous times, but I'll definitely send it we'll out We'll make again. sure you have it, yes. And if you need some assistance, make sure you get in touch with us. This is our contact information for Carol and myself at Minority Business Consortium. And uh, Gian Fierro? And just remember, too, when you're registering, for those of you that are registering as a result of today's presentation, Make sure in the referral question that you also list that you're registering today based on the minority business consortium as well. Great. They want to see how well we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> we want to we want to make sure that and we want to we want to be advocates for you. Uh, and we know the kinds of barriers you face. And we've worked uh, well with Valley, uh, with VTA to address some of those. And we're now working with Valley Water to do the same. So we're really excited to, um, to, to be working with them and with you. And it's really your input. Let us know the kinds of barriers that are difficult for you to overcome. And we will work on getting solutions for those. Concepcion, David. Uh, Kimberly, does anyone else have any uh, particular questions or input? Yes, I just wanted to thank everybody for their participation today. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing you online with bid submittals. Uh, and if not, um, you know, please reach out to NBC Minority Business Consortium and to Valley Water for any questions that you may have that we can assist, assist you with. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, I just right, want to remind that. everyone to if you're if it is your first time submitting in planet bids, um, please don't wait till the last minute. Make sure that you get your submittal in there, and we are available. Obviously, we can give you generic information, but your first point of contact is the folks at Planet Bids. That number is available on the Valley Water website. But if you need any other assistance, you can always check with us as well. Thank you. Okay, I will. Thank you everyone for attending 
And was, I guess yeah. I'll see you at the Meet the Primes event. Yes, thank you. Alan? I uh, just thanked, thanks to everyone for attending and um, please uh, take a look at Planet Bids for those opportunities. We're looking forward to, uh, to having you participate. Excellent, excellent. With, with that, NBC is glad to have you uh, at this very diversity business forum. You know, we set this up to be an in-person thing, but COVID has shifted it. It was good to see over 100. Oops. information get in touch with us the water district is excited to have you coming in the doors and and we look to see you at city hall take care